Welcome to FaceGen Artist, the easy way to create realistic 3D faces for Daz Studio. Today I will show you how to export your face from FaceGen Artist to Daz Studio. For this video I am running FaceGen Artist home version with Daz Studio version 4.8. Once you have created your face, select the file tab and then select export and give your face a name. Say hello to Orgo Test underscore two zero one five zero nine one zero. Now start Daz Studio. The original Genesis model should be loaded by default. If not, go to your Smart Content Panel and load the model yourself. To modify the shape of the Genesis model's face to match yours, do as follows. First, select the Parameters tab to the right of the viewport. Next, navigate to Actor, Head, Universal, Face Gen. You should see a slider control with the same name as your exported model. Move the slider control all the way to the right so it has a value of 1. As you slide the control to 1, you can see the face shape of your Genesis model change to the new morph. To apply your exported face textures, first select the Surfaces tab to the right of the viewport. Now ensure all your model's surfaces have been selected and then scroll down to the UV Set drop-down and select either Genesis Male or Genesis Female. Here I'll select Genesis Male. Now we're ready to apply your exported textures to the Genesis model. Here's a good time to refer to those export instructions generated by FaceGen Artist when you exported your model. We'll start first with the face. Select the three surfaces prefixed by the number 1. Use Shift Left Click to select all three at once. Next, select Browse from the Diffuse Color slider and navigate to the directory specified in your export instructions. Now select the appropriate texture map, in this case text underscore face. Finally, while you still have all the face surfaces selected, find the glossiness slider and set it to zero. Next, bind the texture map text underscore torso to all five surfaces prefixed by the number two. And don't forget to set the glossiness slider to zero for all the selected surfaces. In a similar manner, bind the texture map text underscore limbs to all seven surfaces prefixed by the number 3. We skip the surfaces prefixed by the number 4. Finally, we come to the eyes. From the surfaces prefixed by the number 5, select cornea, lacrimal, and sclera and bind them to text underscore eyes. Finally, select 7 underscore tier and bind it to the texture text underscore tier. And that's it. We're done. Check out the results. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit facegen.com.